Fast fashion dumps in deserts, trash loving rate attacks, the consequences of waste keep piling up. Less than 20% of global waste is recycled each year. Municipal solid waste is the third largest source of human caused methane emissions in the US. Land fuels turn into looming mountains of trash. Fast fashion piles up in deserts, and plastic pollution collects when beaches gets dumped back into the ocean. It's clear we're not managing our waste way at all. The majority of global waste ends up getting incinerated or piled up in landfill streams and eventually our oceans. Besides the horrifying statistics of trash in oceans, the amount of which outweighs all fish combined according to the Conservation International. The problem with garbage is that we fundamentally think of it as out of sight, out of mind. But our waste problem does not only take form in the infamous and highly publicized Great Pacific Carpet Patch. Land exposed trash is a serious climate issue that not only drives global warming but also displacement and crime and other economic burdens. In 2019, municipal solid waste was the third largest source of human caused methane emissions in the US, accounting for 15% of such emissions in the country. According to the US Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, around the world, Municipal solid waste contributes 11% of total methane emissions. A lot of that has to do with food waste, which releases 8% of global greenhouse emissions. Globally, one third of all food produced ends up in the trash. Recently, overwhelming amounts of waste have piled up due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And despite our efforts to reduce waste and encourage recycling, our problem is only expected to get worse by 2050. Municipal solid waste generation is expected to increase by 70% according to statistics. So here are seven general shocking facts about trash around the world that will make you think twice before you toss. Increasingly massive land fuels are driving people in Indonesia from their homes. Indonesia's trash mountain gets bigger every day and is nearly at full capacity. In Indonesia, 7,000 tons of trash arrives daily at a land fuel more than 200 football fields wide and over 15 stories high. A giant trash mountain in Bekash that has taken Jakarta's waste for over 30 years. The land fuel surrounded by villages that locals estimate to house around 20,000 residents, many of whom make a mean living off trash picking, scavenging for reusable waste. The landfill is one of the largest in the world and only continues to increase in size. Some nearby residents are being pushed from their homes by the government, which seeks to expand this dump into the surrounding villages. Reza is the founder of the Seeds of Banta Giban, an educational community resource serving the families and children affected by the landfill. In an interview with Al Jazeera, Reza explained that Seeds of Banta Giban BGE was founded to inspire hope for children and raise awareness for the environment. The expansion of the land will not only displace those in villages nearby but also the organization. I'm just scared to see in 20 years or 30 years or 50 years all of this beautiful village will be transformed into a land seed reason. Less than 20% of global waste is recycled each year and rich countries often export recyclables to poorer nations. The EPA announced a landmark strategy on November 15 National Recycling Day that aims to get the U.S. to a 50% recycling rate by the end of the decade. A 2018 estimates put the U.S. at a recycling rate of 32%, which only 8.7% plastic waste being recycled each year. The new strategy aims to reduce the amount of waste that ends up in landfills or shipped abroad. In 2018 in China, a major source importer declared that it no longer take on the burden of overseas plastic waste management. Separately, under the Basel Convention, more than 180 countries agreed to import impose strict rules on plastic export to poorer nations. But earlier 2021 estimates show that US actually increased the amount of plastic shipped off from 45 million tons the previous year to 48 million tons. The US, UK, Canada, Ireland and Germany have relied on countries like China, Indonesia, Malaysia, Kenya, Vietnam and Turkey to take on their recycling. But countries overwhelmed with massive imports or under-equipped to handle it properly often mismanage or incinerate the recyclable. One third of recyclables in the US are shipped abroad. The UK estimates that 46% of this recycling goes to countries like Turkey, Poland, and Malaysia. The 19 pandemic has made our waste and recycling problem worse. Recycling rates fell across Europe, Asia, and 
the US since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. But the pandemic also produced a surplus amount of new waste in the forms of PPE and single-use items. A study from the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences PNAS, showed that the pandemic generated over 8 million tons of plastic waste around the world and over 25,000 tons of that waste into the ocean. Each year, around 92 million metric tons of textile waste is generated around the world. Shocking photos of Atacama Desert hit the internet last month and caused quite a stir among environmentalists. The pictures posed a tangible depiction of our global fast fashion worries materializing in the landscape of the world's dry desert. An estimated 59,000 metric tons of clothing is received at the port in the northern channel, where resellers may buy up stock. Most of it, about 39,000 metric tons, ends up as waste in the desert. Approximately 85% of all textiles in the U.S. ends up in the trash. Every year, Americans throw out 12.8 million tons of textile globally. The fashion sector accounts for 10% of greenhouse gas emissions, with textile production releasing 1.2 billion metric tons of greenhouse gases each year. Is keeping up with the trends really worth it? Our trash pile affects animal behavior. The annual United Nations Climate Change Conference in Glasgow dominated daily headlines with coverage ranging from climate commitment announcements to masses of protesters thronging their streets. But a story from the New York Times documenting the overwhelming trash problems the Scottish city experienced due to the talks featured one small hairy detail, an increased population of reds who reportedly attacked and sent for sanitation weeks to the hospital over the course of five months. And while it's true that all cities have rates, as Glasgow City Council leader Susan said in response to the attacks, it does not diminish the fact that increased waste attracts more scavengers who may choose to lash out. In some cases, rodents used to live in off an um, ab abundance of city food waste have exhibited abnormal behavior due to COVID-19 pandemic. With restaurants shut down and their food supplies cut off, rats in New York City began to starve. Forbes reported that once outdoor dining started up, customers experienced a new level of interaction with hungry rats looking for food. New Yorkers are no strangers to rats. New York City has the third largest rat population in the US, 2 million inhabitants. But human waste has a history of influencing animal behavior in general. In 2016, a study from Movement Ecology posited that white stocks in Portugal changed their migration patterns due to an abundance of food waste in levels. In Argentina, waste produced from increased fish activity may have instigated a 37% growth in cow populations, which has resulted in an escalating rate of cow attacks on wolves. In 30 years, evidence of cow attacks on wolves shot up from 2% in the 1970s to 99% to in the 2000s. There is more than one ocean garbage patch around the world. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a whole fine collection of floating trash spanning an area three times the size of France, located between California and Hawaii. Over the years, the patch has been highly publicized for its astonishing enormity and strain on the environment. But it's not only the garbage patch floating around our seas. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, there are at least two more areas with ocean patches have caused trash to collect. One in the South Pacific Ocean, the other in the North Atlantic Ocean. The plastic waste recycling industry is an underbelly of crime. 130 cases of waste trafficking through ports were detected during operation. Hashtag 30 days at sea. The Italian coast guard seized and prevented 11,000 tons of contaminated metal scraps from being loaded into bulk carriers headed for Turkey. Exporting plastic waste has more re repercussions than we may think. Heightened regulations on the practice have drummed up reports of smuggling, legal disposal, methods, money laundering, corruption, and in some cases allegations of human trafficking. A report from the Global Initiative Against Transnational Organized Crime showed a 280% increase in illegal plastic waste disposal around the world in 2020. The report also included a 2021 case of one of the UK's largest waste management companies, 
by Bifa Waste Management Service. Build safe allegations of trafficking for people to the UK from Poland to so trash for as for as little as 0.5 pounds an hour. Less than 20% of our waste is recycled each year. Single-use plastics are choking our environment. Wealthy nations continue to export recyclables to countries that cannot bear the basic. Where will the trash go when all the US landfills are full? Two billion tons of waste has been dumped on the planet. Every year we dump a massive 2.1 billion tons of waste on the planet. If all this waste was put on trucks, they would go around the world 24 times. The waste is dumped on land-based dump sites or in the oceans include construction waste, industrial waste, household waste, plastic waste, electronic waste, radioactive waste, sewage, runoff waste, fertilizers, pesticides and oil from, for example, farms running off into groundwater, rivers, oceans. Waste dumping has become a way to solve the world's enormous waste problem. We need to come up with better ideas pretty quickly or it will spin completely out of control. The standing amount of waste is partly because 99% of the stuff we buy is charged within 66 months. Naturally, simply dumping waste on the planet has consequences. The effects of waste dumping and improper waste management include pollution of soil, waste can leak hazardous chemicals into the soil and from there into our food. Air pollution, the burning of waste at levels release toxic substances into the air, including extremely poisoning of dioxin. Pollution of oceans, 13 million tons of plastic end up in the world's oceans each year. If we keep dumping plastic in the oceans by 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the sea. Pollution of groundwater, 280 billion tons of groundwater has been polluted every year. That's 9,000 tons every second. 2.4 2,439,635 deaths from air pollution worldwide this year. In 2022, 109,646,368 tons of hazardous waste thrown out globally this year. And this year, the Great Pacific Patch has a size of 2,283,922.175 square kilometers. This year, Earth cannot sustain our waste. The Global Footprint Network has created a measure for how much we are pushing the Earth in terms of resource use and waste generation. We already pushed 75% above what the Earth can sustain in the long run with regard to resource extraction and absorption of waste. And the number keeps going up. World waste production is going up. To add to the challenge, global annual waste generation is projected to increase by 70% between 2018 and 2050 unless major changes take place. Waste dumping kills according to the Guardian mismanaged waste and waste dumping kills up to a million people globally every year. The good news, leading green companies are becoming a zero waste companies. Zero waste is a philosophy that encourages redesign so that all products are reused. The process is similar to the way resources are reused in Asia. Never before has our planet and we as people stood before the number and scale of many many challenges that we do today. Real change is needed not just from politicians and businesses but from all of us without understanding the situation without developing a deeper awareness about the lives we are living. And the consequences it has such changes are unlikely to occur. If you compare Earth's history to a calendar year, then we humans have only existed for about 37 minutes and we have used 33% of Earth's entire natural resources in the last 0.2 seconds. Our focus on consumption and material will make sense if it leads to happiness and sense of purpose. Yet evidence shows that materialistic values are linked to low well-being across cultures and social groups. 